It's happened! The Texas Rangers win the World Series! When the season ends, is baseball really over? Of course not. It's early morning practices. It's pickup games, whenever and wherever. It's the anticipation for the game today and the crack of the bat tomorrow. It's history. And it's groundbreaking. It's a dream that becomes a reality. It's believing through all the stops along the way to the journey home. When it's in your DNA, it's always time to play ball. Hey, baseball fans, this is Chris Singleton, and welcome to the show. Yo, you want to see something cool? No. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, that was pretty cool, I guess.
welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now and getting the start Shohei Otani and Chris he seems a lot more comfortable pitching here at home than on the road right indeed Boog and there can be several factors whether it's just sleeping in your own bed being around your family hey, huh? going to your favorite restaurant before you come to the ballpark I don't know what it is for him but the numbers are clear that he's been dominant in this place the only frustration is you see how good he is at home if you're a teammate or a coach you're looking and saying hey you can time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Ziggy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these players even during batting practice when it doesn't matter they're practicing that type of approach book and when you have that filtering through the organization oh. even when you call up a player they step right in and continue with the pattern that they have established at this level which ultimately leads to a lot of success two outs base is empty Cattell Marte up to the plate and that one is lifted in the air Griffey on his way over he's there he's got it and that's the third out end of a half inning Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Ken Griffey Jr. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. Set down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now it's Mookie Betts. And a foul ball. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. And another ball. One out, base is empty. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. And with that kind of power at the plate, they'll gladly take the single to the opposite field. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Now fly ball to right center. Carroll pulls it down and there's two gone. Next is the Dodger DH, Jason Hayward. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. And another ball. And down on strikes he goes. Third out, and that ends the frame. Dodgers back here at Dodger Stadium. Second inning set to go. Now it's the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. In the air, left side. Corrals it. One away. Here's Jack Peterson. And here it comes. And a foul ball. 
And the pitch. And a pop off right side foul territory. And there's two down. And now it's Christian Walker. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. No score here in the second. And another ball. Two ball, two strike. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing here this half. We go to Nothing, nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. We head to the bottom of the second. Max Muncy at the dish. Ball, and that's a little bit high. high. And that's ball two. Chip right. swing, did he go? Yes, he did. Two, two. It misses, and it's three and two. Bows it back with two strikes. And the right-hander deals. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. We're seeing a lot of pitches. That was a good at bat. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Next offering is downstairs. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on, when you're expecting him to become more consistent. He's making things difficult for himself right now after the mound, but you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's down right here. Now here is Henry Aaron. Fall off foul. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. He's got it. To second, two. Relay to first. Got a triple play. the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez. Yep. And through there for a strike. That one lifted to left. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Bounced up the middle. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. with one gone. Now it's Chase Peterson. Left-hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. It's a one-two. Cuts on it, misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. No. Now up next for Arizona, Geraldo Perdomo. Two outs. 
The right hander gives up the two out walk. So digging in, Jake McCarthy. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. The pitch. Swing three, got him swinging. And that is that. As we go to the last of the third, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. Righty delivers. And that one hammered way back there. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He just sent a jolt of electricity into this stadium with that swing. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it planked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. And now the center fielder, James Outman. And yeah, that one wrapped foul. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And now it's one and two. Got him! And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, Ken Griffey Jr. The pitch. And that one fouled off. In the air, right field. Carroll moves towards it. Two down. Here's Mookie now. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, he'll see another. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Sets him down looking. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now a one nothing ball game. Come into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Cattell Marte. One, two. in the left center and that should be extra bases around first heading for two and it's a leadoff double for their first hit of the game anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trust in your hands you let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it that's great work right there this is Corbin Carroll this one lifted in the air left field and there's one down a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at-bat. Jack Peterson stands in. Marte over at second, one down. Goes down looking. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. If you've got the tying run out there in scoring position, just put the ball in play, maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. And it's second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. And on second, two down. Foul ball still, one and two count. Distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. 
this one. He misses, struck him out. One left for Arizona. Trail 1 0. Back here in LA, bottom of the fourth, and here is Freddie Freeman. Falling behind 2 on 1. You know, these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get. Towards right center, that's well struck. And that one hops the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that. Okay. 